Hi folks, I hope you're all fine. I'm not that fine today because I catch the dry cat and my throat is full and my nose is full and my head is full. I'm sensitive to bright light today and I forgot my glasses, my sunglasses. So the topic today is a Baisha ceremony or let's say my Baisha ceremony and what does it mean to be a Shifu? Bei Shifu, yi bei. The Chinese martial arts are very diverse and appear complex and sometimes strange to outsiders. This is so because they are not pure sports. Culture and martial arts are inextricably linked with each other. In the past you did not buy any year membership for your fitness clubs and so you could go on Tuesdays and Wednesdays to your Kung Fu classes. No. You had to be worthy in the eyes of the Kung Fu teacher to become part of the Kung Fu family. Therefore, a big part of the Baishi ceremony is to welcome a new member to the Kung Fu family. Before the ceremony, you should already met some of the Kung Fu family members. Wait for your teacher to offer you the Bai She. Think about if you really want to take that step. Find a date and place and the show can start. The other, in my view, much more important part of the Bai She, bai she ceremony is that teacher and student are announcing publicly their new relationship between each other. At my ceremony, we started with the paperwork. Everyone signed and sealed their certificates. The Bai Shi officially started when my teacher and his Kung Fu brothers showed respect to their teacher. After that, one of my teacher's Kung Fu brothers introduced me to the audience. I think this part don't need further explanations. And from that moment on, my teacher was no longer my teacher. He became my Shifu and I became his 2D. Shifu does not mean master. It's not a title, it's not a degree, nor it's a qualification. It just means father. 
and therefore always have in mind and therefore always have in mind don't call yourself Shifu or Sifu it just it's just stupid to do that in my opinion it's necessary to do a Baisha ceremony to get into the deeper Kung Fu family circles but of course not everybody has to do it only if you feel a deep bond between you and your teacher and you think it's 100% right to do that you should go for it but be aware if you do a Baisha and you have a Shifu if he needs help you have to help so I often hear the argument that a Baisha does not fit into the Western culture and society. But look around here. Look around here. So take a look. Take a good look. The Baisha nowadays also do not fit into the Chinese culture and the Chinese society. So, and if you practice already Chinese martial arts, let's say in Germany, in Europe, in France, wherever, so you already do something what is actually not fitting into your own culture but you still do it so I think in the West nobody must do a Baisha of course but at, at least it should be worth a thought the idea behind a Baisha ceremony is not that you can go around and say hey this is my teacher and I'm good because I'm in that I'm re representative of that lineage my Kung Fu is much better than yours damn right it's better than yours so <laughs> it's just for you and your teacher it's, it, it does not belong to anyone else also it do not make you better or worse as a person so I want to close this with um, the words my teacher put into my Baisha certificate and he wrote respect the older and love the young so with those words I'm going to say bye bye I hope you like this insight into the Chinese martial arts culture and I hope you like this video. If you like, you can share your experience or your opinion in the comments section. And if you like to see more of those kind of videos, please subscribe my channel, support me on Patreon and follow me on Facebook. You can find all the links in the description.